Kaiba must have watched my last video on his briefcase and thought that I dishonored him in the Battle City Tournament. Look, it's not my fault you used your original briefcase as a gas station restroom. But regardless, Kaiba did not come to play this time around. And besides, I have very little patience for bullies. Neither did I. I'll be utilizing the same criteria, that being highest rarity relative to value, near mint condition, and print edition where applicable to judge the overall value of his Battle City briefcase. And just to emphasize the absolute absurdity of these cards in the return of the Kaiba, I'll be going through each card beginning from the lowest to the highest price. The time has come to answer a question that has plagued the magical scientists of the world for far too long. How much is Seto Kaiba's Battle City briefcase worth in 2024? Quick disclaimer, although I didn't think that it needed to be explained, I'm basing the value of these cards on real world sets and real world prices because I literally have zero means of valuing them based on the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. So let's snap back to reality starting with the first layer of cards in our first two entries tied at $1 each. Monster Recovery, Pharaoh Servant First Edition Common and Cyber Shield, a My Valentine staple from Legendary Collection 4, Joey's World. Common. I've gotta say, Kaiba, that wasn't very cash money of you. Next up, Invigoration, fittingly from Starter Deck Kaiba, first edition Common at $2.49. Hyozan Ru, a Kaiba staple, hails from the outrageously priced set of cards of the 25th anniversary Ultimate Kaiba set. So, it's valued far higher than it ever should be. I'll admit, I feel a little dirty using these specific values, but I also showered this morning, so I won't be going against my criteria. Sitting at a comfortable $2.95. For those of you that are prone to post-traumatic episodes by the mere mention of a first turn kill strategy, you may want to look away. Now that we've weeded out all of the bubble blown double babies from the bar, Cannon Soldier, Super Rare from Dark Beginning 2, coming in lukewarm at $7.76. And we're about one degree warmer with the White Magical Hat, Rare from First Edition Metal Raiders, $7.87. So remember about five minutes or so ago when I said I was using the same criteria? I lied. Gyaku Tenno Megami, a card that I have always associated with Seto Kaiba but couldn't pick out a single scene in which he actually used the card, even if my life actually depended on it. That's beside the point, but for this one, I've ignored my stipulation of matching card artworks. We're looking at the ultra-rare limited edition from the 2008 Anniversary Pack, valued at a clean $8. For all of my night owls out there, I've got Mystical Moon, first edition common from Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, clocking in at $15 and a quarter. Thankfully, this copy wasn't destroyed by a giant soldier. Throughout Kaiba's various briefcases, he holds several examples of cards used by other duelists. I point this out because Kaiba rags on just about everyone for being nowhere near Kaiba's league. Third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck type beat. And Shadow Ghoul is no exception, being a card played by Rebecca Hawkins. First edition rare from Metal Raiders at $16.20. From here on out, the prices between each card jumps exponentially. Anyways, Graceful Charity is an interesting one because there were actually what appeared to be two copies in the briefcase, so we've got a double whammy. Secret rare from Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. And at $36.50 a pop, that's another $73 we're indebted to the Kaiba Core Bank of Money. Chain Destruction, more like blockchain destruction trying to pay for these cards, am I right? Oh brother, this guy stinks! Super Rare from Tournament Pack 4, valued at $44.90. Horn of Heaven, which can be found in Yugi's deck, and we'll just repeatedly see this trend for Kaiba's Battle City briefcase holding several cards that he never played or were staples of another character. Nonetheless, a Super Rare from Tournament Pack 3 adds $49.95 to the pool. Metal Zoa, courtesy of Bandit Keith, and serving as a constant reminder that Heavy Metal King has yet to cross over to the TCG. And at this point, Kaiba's just flexing to spite me. Metal Zoa comes from the World Championship Prize Pack of 2011, as a super rare at $60. Here's a fun debate. Xbox or PlayStation? There's really only one correct answer, but Kaiba was an avid Xbox enjoyer, as evident with his super rare Mesmeric Control promo card from the Dawn of Destiny Xbox video game. 
Which is ironic because at $69.95, it's worth more than Xbox as a whole. Kaiba was also the type to put an airplane emoji in his Tinder bio, being a frequent traveler. How do I know this? Well, our next two cards share a slot. The European release promos for the video game, The Sacred Cards. Skull Dice and Graceful Dice Limited Edition Prismatic Secret Rares at $75 each. Side note, this just goes to show that Kaiba was truly a menace. Both of these cards are staples of Joey Wheeler, which is an oddity in and of itself that Joey would have such rare cards outside of the Red Eyes Black Dragon. I guess they were only rare and powerful when in the possession of Mr. Screw the Rules. And from here on out, my credit card is crying at the sight of these prices. Undeniably, the most powerful card in Kaiba's Battle City briefcase is Harpy's Feather Duster. And a super rare from Tournament Pack 8 being the only correct option for Kaiba is going to run you a mortgage payment at $699.98. Breath of Light, which if I'm not mistaken was played by Taya, so again, Kaiba just being unhinged, but he's also flexing his top cut status with a super rare copy from the World Championship prize pack of 2011. $969.69. Nice. And because that wasn't bad enough, Kaiba gets one more knock on Joey with a copy of Alligator's Sword. Again, with the whole third rate duelist type beat that your boy was spitting, the fact that he had three cards from Brooklyn's Finest is appalling. Never let this man cook again. Perhaps they had different versions though. A rare copy of Alligator's Sword from the 2010 World Championship prize pack goes for an even $50. It's respectable. Not anything that I would buy because I also have children to feed, but because it's Kaiba, the man that mains and sides his credit card, we can certainly assume that he had in his briefcase the super rare copy from the 2011 World Championship prize pack. How much? Well, if you're in the market of skipping two vehicle payments, you too can own one for $1,200. And I would say that we're done with the first layer, but we have one more card, which is Tears of a Mermaid. It doesn't exist. It's still an anime exclusive card, and I have no means of valuing it aside from what people are selling orcas for on Etsy, which constitutes nothing, and I'll be moving on immediately. Like I said, Kaiba did not come to play this time around. His Battle City briefcase can be definitively valued as of 2024 at $3,380. I can't even think about that kind of money without going broke. And this is all just funny money for Kaiba because we're not even aiming to trade for anything this time around. That's wild. Yeah. Oh yeah. It seems that some of you thought that I had some kind of magical insight as to what the rest of Kaiba's briefcase contained. I'll need you to come in close for this one. A little closer. Can you hear me? I hate to disappoint. Actually, I don't, but just like the value of these cards according to the anime, I have no means of inferring what that might be. I could say that there was anything and everything in his briefcase, meaning I could value it at literally anything. So let's do that. The grid of his briefcase was 7 cards by 4 cards, and let's just say there was a full deck worth of cards in each slot, so there was 28 stacks of 40 cards. Taking away the top layer, we had 28 stacks of 39 cards for a total of 1,092 cards. And I actually just got off the phone with Mokuba, who confirmed that all 1,092 cards were copies of Dark Bat. Valued at an entire penny each, we can assuredly add $10.92 to our total evaluation, but because I like ya, I'll go ahead and round that up to an even 11, which brings Kaiba's Battle City briefcase value to $3,391. <laughs> but that's going to wrap up today's discussion, guys. Let me know your thoughts. A long-awaited sequel to my original Kaiba briefcase video, and I want to thank you guys so much. That is still the most viewed video on my channel. Really is kind of what put my channel on the map as far as yu gi tubing content. So again, thank you guys so much. It really does mean the world to me. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated, as always, guys. And until next time, this has been Purple Pineapple TV, signing off.